dude, the classics. Buffalo sauce, cheesy quesadilla. It's the classics that make my day, bro. I don't know about you. El Clasico. El Clasico. However, in this case, it's actually gonna be a little different. In fact, we are using a Griddle Nation inspiration. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I forgot his name, so hold on. We're cutting. <laughs> no, no, don't cut, don't cut, don't cut. <laughs> this is your first day in the game? Our man Smokehouse Nick had a really fun play on a traditional buffalo chicken quesadilla. Dang. So today, my friends, I'm if excited. this is the first time watching, grab something to sip on because every time we ring the bell, we have ourselves a little fun. Oh, by the way, this is CJ's first cooking show. Mm. I am CJ, and hey. this is my first cooking show. Sure. So with this Griddle Nation, <laughs> <laughs> so one of the curveballs of the Griddle Nation inspiration today, the knuckleballs, is Curve. bacon. The curveball. It's a curveball. What's uh, the difference between a curveball and a knuckleball? A lot. Really? It's like saying the curveball is the same as a knuckle puck. Knuckle puck, you. I know. What can I say? It's hard to be accurate, but his guy is always crazy. So our man Nick here, Smokehouse Nick, he. And I've, I don't know why I've never thought to do it because I do love chicken and bacon as they are, you know, paired together. True. But typically I think of just like a, I don't know, barbecue sauce with chicken and bacon or maybe just ranch, like a... I don't know, it's, it's cliche, but bacon makes everything better. Ah, uh, now you're talking. In the meantime, it's officially that time. We are ringing in the new crew, my friends. So here we go, starting from the top, we've got... Let me see. Might start needing oh, glasses, no. readers. Bifocal? <laughs> Are you nearsighted or farsighted? Both. That's why I invented the bifocal. Yeah! Shannon Connick 2588 new subscriber. Bifocals. Actually, that would be great. I don't care what Jim says. That is not the real Ben Franklin. Oh, uh, we've got Carol Monte Leone, I think is how we're gonna say it. And we've got two more. We've got Pastor Cal Calico. Cal Cal yep. You that, got it. Yep, passed it. And then we've got Loud 88 GT. So loud. To all of you. Welcome. Bringing in the new crew. Andy, hello. Oh, sorry. Hello. He's not following, like, literally the first rule of Fight Club. No Fight Club. No Fight Club. Okay. Our bacon has had just enough time to cook in order to do a flip. Now, do a kick flip. Yeah, go fast enough. Yo, wait, hey. Recipe number two that Nick added was bell peppers. And you know mm -hmm. what? I'm 100% okay with this because it turns out bell peppers is probably, it's probably one of my favorite ingredients that I could add to really? just about anything. That's, Literally, just that. about it. Dude, why are you being like that? No, 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 I'm, I, I wasn't a negative. You always think I'm being negative. Because hey, he is. Hey, shh, it's okay. And now you're being condescending. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> And the third part of this recipe that is kind of the curveball, a knuckle puck situation is jalapenos. So we're gonna slice up some jalapenos and get those ready to go Christmas, down like in the, the bacon fat. And as it turns out, our bacon is officially perfectly cooked. So in we go with our bell peppers and our jalapenos fat, to start rendering in said bacon fat. Now, while that's going, we're gonna start getting our chicken seasoned up because it's also, guess, what? gonna make its way into the bacon fat. Easy. Seasoning chicken today is quite the cutlet. Quite you're, simple. You're in love with the cutlet. Um, the cutlet's your friend. I'm in love with simplicity. It also turns out that I love the cutlets uh, because they cook quick, they stay juicy, um, and more so, it's really hard to mess them up. I mean, I suppose you could, but you don't have to. You worked hard at it. <laughs> I really tried. You could mess them up. Which I could and probably have. Oh, I wasn't talking about you. Dude, guilty conscience today, guy. What are you talking about, guilty? Anyone, anyone could mess them up. I wasn't referring to the, the you, the royal you. What in God's holy name are you blathering about? Let's go ahead and get this down, and we're gonna get this down in some of our bacon fat. Now we're using, we've got, it's dude, awesome. let's take note here. We've had bacon, we've had bell peppers and jalapenos. Now we have chicken. Bro, we are compounding. Maximizing that bacon fat. And maximum effort. See, there's a little pool of glory down here. Yes, there is. Yes, indeed there is. Now, all right, let's come back over this way. That? Like, just, it could use a little more love. Like, just because we have it. Why not? Oh, yeah. Why not? All right, oh, there we go. Basting with 
bacon fat. Basting and bacon fat. The bacon base. It does it better. But besides that, bro, let's get to the bacon. There's a lot of, oh. there's an obsessive amount of bees. No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Hey, but speaking of bacon, one thing that Nick did is he already had his bacon pre-chopped and then went right. on. Actually, I get it. That's it's a decent move. I've got a better one. Things get a little easier, a little less hectic when you've got your bacon done. Then you can just chop it up. Yeah. Bob's your uncle, and you're ready to go. And speaking of- The monkey's your uncle. We're gonna fight you. Your uncle, Flores. Point is, with this combination of flavors, this is gonna be way better than any random chicken quesadilla you could pick up in front of a gas station or a convenience store. Because that happens. Speaking of gas station or convenience stores, hey CJ, did you know? My love for you is like a truck bouncer. Did you know that originally Kevin Smith wanted himself to play Dante, but he ended up doing it as Silent Bob because you know, like which story is reason. way better because yeah, that's an better. absolutely legendary character. The whole reason he even put himself in the movie is he wasn't completely sure if the movie would turn out. So he wanted himself to be in the movie so he could just point to himself and be like, yeah, that's proof that I did this. Hey, CJ, I, did you know that that's not actually true? Jungle love, yeah. Oh, we, oh, we, oh. I think I want... Of course. How selfish of me. Let's do all the things that you want to do. Why Kevin Smith was initially cast as Randall, which is why Randall has some of the best lines in the movie. Because he gave him the best... Correct. That's such a good wow. quote, dude. Dang. Hey, guys. Ethan here. Obviously, there's a contradiction with these facts. It seems that Andy and I got our facts from two different sources, and neither of which told the full story. So while editing, I decided to research a bit more and found out that we're both true. Kind of. You see, Kevin Smith has stated that Dante is a character that he based off of himself, an avatar if you will, while Randall is a character that he wanted to be. Additionally, with the new Clerks movie, there's been a shift, and now Kevin thinks of himself more as Randall in real life rather than Dante. Okay, now we got that all figured out. Back to your regularly scheduled program. Whoa! That's really good. That was also cool, Ethan, but dude! Yeah. <laughs> all right. I like that. Let's ring it and bring it on that note, mon frere. Hey, uh, Randall does have the best lines. He delivers them in the worst way. There's nothing more exhilarating than pointing out the shortcomings of others, is there? But he does the, the Randall. Yeah. Yo, lace. You agree? <laughs> he gonna cry in the car. He has a weird run. That wasn't even a fake run, that's just how Makes he sense. The run makes sense. Yeah! It sounds like it, it looks like it, it also smells like it. Chicken is done, my friends. Is that what it sounds like when, when it's, it's done? done? I was, I'm wondering, you said it sounds done. I was agreeing. No, no, that's more like that oh. sounds. Oh. Watch, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh, I was gonna okay. say dumb. Not done. That's what she just, because it was dumb. I don't appreciate your ruse, man. Wow. What? Nothing. Your ruse, your cunning attempt to trick me. Following our boy's recipe, he cut up his chicken. Actually, I made like a slight caveat. Oh. He, oh, jeez. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> little bit of a departure, he was using pre-cut chicken, then went on to cook it. I'm using chicken that's all together, then I cut it. Personally, I feel like it, it's just more moist in the end. Mm. That's... Moist towelette? I know we don't like that word, but that's mm. the accurate term. I hear you. I hear you. But, but you I don't, don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it is accurate. Now, if you've never done this before, this is definitely the way to go. However, point of caution. Uh oh. When you start to put this on the griddle, don't breathe. The, the, the fumes get all up in your business. Nothing else in the world smells like that. We've got some sweet baby Ray wow. buffalo Dangerous. sauce here. Yeah. Here it comes. Yeah, wait for it's it. Probably more the chilies and vinegar. Like, we've done that with the pepper. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, the aroma. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right. You good? Ooh. Oh. You getting it? I love the smell of night pump in the morning. Now, I'm gonna slide this guy off. Man. It's time to build. 
That's it? We're that's it. We're done. Okay. It's literally time to assemble. Now, following his role, his rule, or his role in his the rule of his. Tortillas down, this is classic. Cheese down, chicken down, bacon, peppers. A little more cheese, Just I think. Just making a quesadilla. We're Let's making a quesadilla. Don't Pro church it up, dirt. You suck! You do! But we might be also adding a little bit of ranch sauce oh, okay. in there. Just right. a hint that's gonna cool things off, gonna like mellow it. out that cayenne pepper from the buffalo. And because I love texture as my palate is growing, we've got some carrots as well. So crunchy. 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 Salty. Serve it how you like, cut it how you like. I like to go into little triangles and we're gonna go on a plate with this. Now, I recommend it. Do a lot of ranch and a little bowl. Not a lot. A little do, bowl. An, do an appropriate amount of ranch in a side bowl. Add a little drizzle of buffalo sauce. It looks beautiful. It tastes beautiful. You're swirly, gonna love it. Swirly, twirly gumdrops? Swirly, twirly gumdrops. Then, I walked through the Lincoln Tunnel. Bro, these are thick. They're obviously very cheesy. They're loaded it's like with goods, buddy. Thick and really cheesy. I don't know what that. That was rude. No, it's thick as a brick. Smokehouse Nick, also known as Nick. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Maybe it's Smokehouse Snick. Snick? Like, like Snickerdoodles? Yeah. Huh. I'm Probably taking the not, one inside because but... I saw that it had all this melty cheese oh. going on here. Uh, I think we're gonna. The swirls the are first, great. The first dip and swirl. The dips, the swirls, I mean the swirls for the dip. Bro, the flavor, it's a classic recipe with a couple little knuckle pucks. Knuckle pucks. One of the best quesadillas I have ever had. Nice. Do you taste like, the ticket? Oh! Mmm! 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 Leave it in the comments. Was there anything that was kind of like breaking the rules with buffalo sauce? I feel no. like there are some things. I didn't add celery. I like the glaze move. Glazing was great. I like the, the bacon was the bacon. awesome. Yeah. Dude, the heat with the jalapenos I'm and the buffalo I like sauce. I'm saying I like it, but I haven't even tried it yet. Yeah, well, you you should try it here in a second. You darn too. Leave it in the comments, my friends. But speaking of comments, it is officially that time. If you've never been here, it's CJ's favorite comment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. So if you've never been here, this is where we take screenshots from you, oh, the viewers. Because if you guys write it, we read it, and then we have ourselves a real good time talking about how much good you love time. or hate me. Let's I hope start, today's a lot of goodies. Let's start with some love, shall we? Okay. This is not just to my show, but this is to the entire Griddle Nation. Nice. 90, 90 Oneer eight five zero six says it's like a forty nine er exactly. But a little bit more. Niner. Blackstone has changed my life! Whoa. Exclamation points. That was it? I don't disagree wow. with you. I just wanted to make the reference and the understanding. 91-er. From a niner. Walkie-talkie. Walkie no, it was cordless. I agree. Blackstone has changed my life as well. Cheers. This next one comes in from Robert Bernal. 3180. Bernal. Hey, buddy. Hey there, guy. Uh, Robert says those chili verde enchiladas look very delicious. Oh, they were. Especially with the sauce you made. I like when the chili has a little kick to it. Film clips were great. Started getting wow, used right. to it by now. Good. Different kind of show, but CJ is a great host and a cook. Uh, side note, those Robert, were banging. Those were banging. Those were they so were good. insane. So good. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. We're two for two on the love. We are. Let's see Let's how we go now. Let's keep the love going. Did you do this? Uh, no. Okay, this is a random one. I just, I, you'll see why I have to mention it. It's from One Pokemon Battler. Oh, nice. One okay. Pokemon Battler. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> is that oh. I want to be the very best. This individual says, holy crap, you're from Pampa. Yes, I am. Well, there's only five other people there, so it's crazy that's I didn't know you. Not true, there's like seven. <laughs> but yes, that's where I used to live. Uh, hey there, Pokemon Battler. Catch okay, this one comes in from Brian O'Neill. O'Neill. Says, uh, long time listener, first yep. time caller here. When are you going to do an episode on kid-friendly recipes? Also, really disappointed in the lack of point break references. Oh, wow. Utah. Give me two. So first off, 
I feel like all my recipes are very kid friendly. Yeah, they're all very childish. I mean, kid friendly. That came out wrong. It came out exactly the way you wanted it to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care! You gotta go down! No. All right, Brian O'Neill. Shaquille's brother. Uh, all my recipes are very kid friendly. My kids like them. Well, not my youngest. She didn't eat anything. Like Ethan. I eat way more than you. That's Quantity? True. No. And stuff. <laughs> Point made. Stuff. stuff. Okay, this one is a special one. Uh, Rick oh, no. Blaine, he's been on my show a few times. Yeah. He's my boy. Ricky B. He's a ride or die. Uh, he was in Pampa and had an interesting conversation with a guy that uses a Blackstone. Then Rick made reference that his best friend works for Blackstone. And here uh, it is Joey Cashes. Says, CJ, I just whoa. learned today. Whoa. No, no, no. It's, 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 whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, I work with your friend Rick from Pampa. I had a good laugh with him at lunch with me being a fan. Love the show. My guy. We're basically best friends. There you go. All right. Uh, Joey. Exo facto. Besties. Totes besties. Matching slap bracelets. Fanny packs. That does signify bestie relationships. Here we go. We've had lots of good ones today. We're gonna wrap it up with another great one. I like I like being nice. Every now and then it's fun. We'll do lots of mean ones on the next episode. This one comes in from Roxanne Frazier. Roxanne! You don't have to put on the red light. Because you're my mom. <laughs> 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 My mom says, awesome job with your recipe. I love how you used fresh tomatoes to make your sauce. This was the um, linguine uh, oh, yeah, positano. Good. Yep. And like Julia Child always says, Whoa. everything is better with lots of butter. Mama Frage knows what she's talking about. Mama, I love you. So glad she's You're the best. my show. And your show and Julia Child shows. All the shows. All the, just, you know. My mom doesn't comment on his show. Mom, if you do, stop. You complete me. I love you. I do appreciate you guys hanging out and watching. This was a fun one. Definitely amazing Griddle Nation inspiration oh, from yeah. our boy Smokehouse Nick. Cool. Speaking of Griddle Nation, uh, Crazy Pop decided to hook me up. Oh, right on. We, we don't an, have a Crazy Pop on there? No, we do. Oh. But he gave us a new one because we saw him at the. The Fruita. You're right. Nah, dude. <laughs> At the Griddle Crew meetup. So, we're, you know what? Let's let's put this guy that, down right there. I like it. Also, in case you didn't know, so shiny. nah, dude, everybody's having a hard time finding it. It's not on griddlenation.com, which you can go Don't there. Don't tell them where it is, though. People have asked. I feel bad. It's, it's a rabbit trail. You're going to have to find Follow your way to the it. the white rabbit. Exactly. Uh, be sure to go to BlackstoneProducts.com for this recipe and tons of other stuff. Uh, we got lots of fun shows, lots of fun things happening. Griddle Nation inspiration happening all the time. The best way to let me, to get my attention with that, because I'm all over the socials, but tag me, all over message the me, all the things. You ever have that feeling where you're not sure if you're awake or still dreaming? Mm, all the time. It's called the CJ's first cooking show. It is. Where we cook. And we quote. We'll see you guys in the next episode.